Nathan mentioned China's air quality is one of the reasons there is such a big push to reach a binding agreement at the Paris climate talks. High-level negotiators are meeting for a second week. While there is progress, there are also disagreements. CCTV's Kate Parkinson reports from Paris. Top government officials from around the world are now taking center stage in Paris. They are tasked with creating a climate deal from the draft negotiating text signed off by delegates here last week. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon warned that time is running out. The clock is ticking towards climate catastrophe. The world is expecting more from you than half measures and incremental approaches. It is calling for a transformative agreement, an agreement that opens the way for peace, stability and prosperity. But with many issues still to be resolved, reaching a deal will not be easy. One of the biggest disputes is over how far the Paris Pact should aim to limit global warming. Many poor and vulnerable nations want a more ambitious target than the current two degrees Celsius goal. Any further temperature increase beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius will spell, will spell the total demise of Tuval and other low-lying and island nations. We must have the greatest possible political will to set the right path here in Paris that will have and leave no one behind. Another sticking point centers on demands by developing nations for hundreds of billions of dollars to pay for a shift to renewable energy and cope with the impacts of climate change. The G77 in China represents about 85% of the world's population and there can be no meaningful agreement if the group's concerns are not taken into account. It's going to be a tough week of talks with lots of compromises. But despite the many challenges that lay ahead, there is a sense of optimism here at the climate conference that a deal is within reach. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Paris.